Here's Mr. Charlie. Hello? Guys? Is that you? Oh, she can hear sounds with her sound equipment. Directional microphone to find the source of the noise. Okay. Well, I'm feeling some vibrations, guys. Some vibrations this direction here. Sounds like a child. Oh, what's this? Oh, I don't want that to happen. Okay, well, don't get stabbed. All right, good to know. Thank you. I will try not to get stabbed. Now that you've shown me that. with more cement to cause trust in me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. Oh shit, the execution of H.H. H. Holmes. <gasps> I gotta check if my headset's on the right. It is? Okay. That's weird. It's, it's right. Well, everywhere is a dead end. We looked at that. What the heck is that? Oh, there's literally another hallway right here. Well, I'm not getting any more vibrations. Oh god. Oh. I'm getting it again. Whoa, the sliding is crazy. Well, it sounds like a TV now that we're over here. I don't like being able to hear every single sound that's coming from every, like, every, everywhere in this house. It's a lot. Long. 
Um, I think we should just go back to our room. I feel like if we examine this, we're going to get locked in and we're never going to find anyone else again. Ah. Okay. I was prepared for it. Yep. She's the first one to get captured. I'm guessing he's going to take them all to different places and do whatever. Oh, God. Damn it. Good job. Breakers. Why did we all split up? Oh, I hate this. At least I get a flashlight, and I don't have to hear all those sounds all at once. Shit. Hello? Mr. Demet? He... You saw him leave! He's long gone. Okay, what is this? P.F. Richardson, Will and Life Insurance Specialist. Mr. and Mrs. Mark Edwards. 2011. Dear Mark and Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. A codicil has been added, which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belknap. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal representative for their records, please remember you can view any of your will or life insurance documents at any time by logging into your online account. Jessica Maxwell's handwritten signature, Jessica Maxwell, Senior Administrator. Okay. So, I started writing down some names the other day. I didn't write Belknap. Was it Richard? Somebody changed their will to have everything go to him if they both die. Mark and Jessica. I don't know if those names are important, but write it down anyways. Okay. Firenx Security Corporation, name Ned Yoke, 2019, description, digital lock installation, authorization for emergency services. I confirm that I have um, authority to order the security components itemized above and that the supplier is absolved from any and all claims resulting from installation or use of this equipment signature Ned Yoke. 0451 0451 Security lock. Okay, maybe a code? The lady looks 10 years younger, but how? The Columbus Spa, bathhouse, manicures, day spa, facials, and more. The European health secret now on Lake Michigan. Staff notice. Due to the winter sun pool opening hours have changed. Our new hour is 10 to 5, Thursday open late at guest request management. Thursdays open late at guest request. Whose request? Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Grand opening. I'm writing everything down. November 17th. Not that, like, it's going to do me any good if I have to make a quick decision and I'm like, wait, let me get my notes out. <laughs> but hopefully I'll have some time if I need to use any of this stuff.
locked. Anything else in here? I don't think so. Got everything. I don't remember which way we came from. Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Yeah. Choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault. Security lock. Well, let me, I better, I don't know. I better look at stuff beforehand just in case. Enjoy your memorabilia, dude. Ben at Killer Fernalia. Online auction for serial killer memorabilia. Item name, H.H. H. Holmes authentic hat and famous photographs. Winning bid, $24,000. Username, H.H.H. H. H. 1896. 2017, 9-18-2017. Order date, 9-16. So it opened in November. So this is before they opened. The hotel. We're getting everything all ready to go. March 25th, 2017. Dear Mr. Clark, Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract and would like the remaining crew to conduct a cost assessment. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once your report has been received, we will arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period. In the interim, please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non-disclosure agreement and treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. Sincerely, K. Schroeder, Kelly Schroeder. Cost assessment, Jesse, plans and specifications, Laura, electrics and site prep, Frank, engineering fees, Monica, permits, logistics, environmental, other, and Ryan, excavation and demolition. Okay. More stuff to read. Cooper General Contractors, 2017, January. Dear Mr. Belknap, the following, following our discussions regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting it into a tourist attraction, we've reviewed your latest design to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find Overleaf a breakdown of the work as well as an estimate for total cost. The work can commence January 13th, Tuesday, and will take approximately 10 weeks with an estimated end date of Friday, March 24th. Please contact me if you wish to proceed. Kelly Schroeder's, uh, Kelly Schroeder. Okay, description. Extensive strengthening of rooms to accommodate machinery for moving parts. 10 weeks, cost $240,000. Various remote receivers installed across the hotel. 40, uh, 14, wow, he play, paid almost a million dollars here. Overhaul of hotel pipework, particularly in the basement. Sale of various construction materials. Exhaustive breakdown available upon request. So it looks like Mr. Belknap might be our, uh, our guy here. Let me run back to this. Let's see if I can put in this code. 0451. Oh, thank God. Something from this century. Oh, this is progress. Okay.
That doesn't work. I mean, that's battery powered, so it should work, I think. Oh, maybe there's not a tape inside. Maybe I need to find a tape. Ooh, they got a piano. Breakers. Oh, I guess this is also progress after we do the first progress. Okay, then I probably explored everything. This is probably locked, but let's check. Nope, not locked. Hmm. Uh, well, this is all stuff that I've already explored, I think. We've already seen all this. Or is this new? Huh. Katie's getting creative with Charlie's script. Oh, it's a script. Slow pan through the lobby, drinking in the atmosphere, go for a 360 instead. Series of dissolves between key exhibits and details, ending on front desk. A hand reaches into frame and rings the desk bell. As intros go, this one's utter garbage. <laughs> Someone says, I see criticism. I don't see any better suggestions. Tilt up to reveal Kate. Kate. Um, the World Fairs Hotel was a hotel like no other. Its hallways ran, with re ran red with blood. Its sheets were washed in mother's tears. The price of a room came at the cost of your life, and the owner was a liar, a fraud, and quite possibly the most prolific murderer in American history, transpose some imagery over these lines. Sound effects of screams and sobbing. Kate turns away from the desk and exits frame. Cut two onto Kate. Slow pull back as she walks through lobby. As we've already seen, that bloody rain came to an end in Phil the Philadelphia courtroom where H.H. H. Holmes was handed the same sentence he inflicted upon so many others, death. And in 1895, his hotel, or murder castle, as it became known, was gutted in an act of suspected arson. Before the building itself was torn down in 1938, consigning another part of Holmes' infamy into history, or so it seemed. Does our audience understand consigning? Does our crew understand consigning? <laughs> Kate stops. Camera continues to pull back, revealing the space around her. Continues. It may look like I've stepped back into those dangerous days of 1893, but I can assure you I am safe and sound in present-day Illinois, where a team of talented production designers have undertaken a most remarkable act of recreation. recreation. Um, a note says, in a recreation of the infamous building where, no where noted entrepreneur H.H. H. Holmes expert... Yeah, Grant, okay. You can also hear the desperate screams from the unfortunate guests trapped here. Doomed to become Holmes' next victims. So, without further ado, let's step back in time and maybe see if we can't uncover a few macabre secrets that might still be lingering. Screams. I think Erin can do this. Not sure I want legal on my case if she has an asthma attack. Okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't sound too shabby, does it? Let's see if there's any changes in the um, book here. No changes. I think the only names I recognize are the Morello ones. Joseph Morello was the, the author. The author who was writing about H. H. Holmes. Okay, should we go turn on the power? I don't think that's gonna work. 
There's no power. I just really don't want to miss anything, you know? This is the same thingy here. Hector. Hector. Why does he have this? Mr. Hector Monday isn't on the list of guests. Alright, I'm turning the power back on. Oh, we're doing this thing again. We gotta go in the right order. So we'll start here. We'll go here. And 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 we'll go here. Let there be light. Return to the lobby. All right, I know how to get there. I saw this, right? Yeah. Severe weather warning. Did I see this? The renovations? Yeah, I did. Um. Hmm. I never figured out the tape. Tape player. It's dark. Let's try it one more la one last time. That's eh, still nothing. Oh boy. don't like it. <sighs> Special feature unlocked, whatever that is. There's nothing for me to find here. Some kind of secret. Some little item that's going to help me later. Oh, here's something. Is it a tape? Oh, it's a tape! Ah! Damn it! Son of a... I knew something was going to happen, too. I was like, I bet there's going to be a jump scare here. It still got me. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. 
Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honey pot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Groups from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Come on, Pa Kettle. Take a train in from... Nebraska. Takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops. What do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. That whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet, all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times, I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while, I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was going to hear a thing. That's what I remember most. Those screams. This is disturbing. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want. You'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. I never want to know how that feels, ever. Never in a million years. Okay, I think we're ready to go to the lobby. I feel like there's some, there's got to be something here. It's not giving me an option to use an item or anything. So, I don't know. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. After listening to this that tape, great. you don't. Very gaslight. You don't think mm, that if we had maybe. A grip of some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be yes. fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Should be more than a few minutes. Um, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. What the hell? Is that when Aaron got caught in that room? Yeah. Hey, hey, help! Well, somebody help me! I can't see a thing. I, uh, guys, guys, okay. please. Okay. Calm yourself down, or else you're gonna have an asthma attack. I can't get the door open. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Stay calm, girl. Get me out of here! I can't see a thing! The door is stuck. Break it open! It's not budging. Here's the thing. I... I can't... I can't breathe. Turn left. Slow, deep breath. In and out. Aaron? It's okay. We're right here. You're not hurt, are you? 
Uh, I need my inhaler. She doesn't have it on her? Oh, I, God. I need my inhaler. I was gonna ask my tax. What's your room number? I... Hurry! Oh, where's your room? Next morning, down the long hallway to you. Aaron, I'm going. Try to breathe slow and easy. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Guys, I, I, I can't. Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. That's Charlie. Um, somebody's in here. I, I, guys, guys, somebody's in here with, with me. Oh God. Traits updated. Panicky. Oh, great. Inhaler. Attack, take, take it, take it, take it. Just take it. Ah! Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I thought. Ow, what did he do? He took off some of her ear? Hearing updated. Aaron chose to take the inhaler from the masked man. Well, I thought that maybe he would give it to her. I thought he wasn't, like, he wanted to keep her alive for a little longer or something. Oh, she got it. She got it at least. Okay. Use it. Okay. Easy, easy. In. Okay, yeah. See, he's not ready. To, he's not ready for her to die yet. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? What did he do Come with on. the knife? He... He was... Somebody was right there. In there with me. Her ear Aaron, looks fine. It's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He... He had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not... Nothing bad happened, Aaron. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Show them the inhaler. They probably just assumed she had it on her the whole time. Oh. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, perfect. Ah. There you are. Good stopping point. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Pluck? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? He's miles away. Apparently, he's left the island. He gone. How very rude not to stay for dinner. He didn't even feed us. Charlie there was no dinner. To rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. Is it frustrating to watch, guys? I only record events. <laughs> Don't answer that. You get to shape them. <laughs> I already know the answer. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Deep breaths. This is square. This button is square. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. 
I know what I saw. In the dark? You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? <laughs> Charlie is thinking. She looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying... I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry. Maybe I'm crazy. But if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right. Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. I'm we cannot good jump with that plan. To conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, okay? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. I was going to say, he's like the least left. positive I of everyone, it, but... Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. What a Do toxic to work environment. I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put. So Can you imagine you, okay? talking to your boss like that? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry. It's just Charlie said. We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. I promise. No, don't. Sorry, just still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? They're gonna leave her by herself? After what happened to her? No one's gonna stay and help her pack? Just... Okay, genius. Jeez. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Oh Jesus. my god, Charlie. You, you don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. So that's okay. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. I was thinking today... <laughs> random thoughts while I was at work that Charlie like I remember the first like hour or so of the game was like I really like this Charlie guy he seems super nice and then like as soon as we got inside this building he just turned into the most horrible person ever and he's not getting any better have we read this is this new Mr. Morello, this is from Dumet. Mr. Morello. Oh, yeah, yeah, we read this. Okay. We read this. Uh, 0180. Let's see, did I write that number down? I didn't. Well, I have 0178 and 0180. <coughs> Not sure if that's gonna come up later for anything. 
What happened here? I... No idea. Hmm. We didn't do that. We definitely didn't do that. What? Alright, is this something we've read? Oh, this is our script, right? We read this. I wonder if that groundskeeper would know where the met went. Oh, you mean the the guy obsessed with murder? Hey, I found Dumet's business card. That a lot of good that does us right now. Open. Hold on. It's a lovely premonition. What was happening there? He got stabbed. There was a chain. Wait, what? Oh, I just saw my own death. Nothing to worry about. Really, it's fine. I feel like I've never gotten anybody die. Like, I probably have, but I rarely get pe people killed in the way that I, ways that I see them die in the premonitions. But they still die, just just in different ways. Okay, I think that's it. Let's try this door. Jamie, over here. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? It's just... Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd. Hello? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Why would they do that? Maybe it's our dinner. What? Alive five. Everyone's alive still. Um. How in the world is he going to see that much blood? Everything else that's been going on, like this place is ransacked. Dumet is mysteriously gone and he's he's just like, oh, it's you know, it's normal. It's probably fine. Welcome one and all to tonight's entertainment. Oh, oh god, it's fuck? starting Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. This is square. And this is circle. Five alive. Let's keep it that way. Shall we? Let's go away from the music at first. Wait, are my headsets on the right? Hold on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be really awkward if my left and right headphones were mixed up. I found something. Federal Bureau of Invest- oh, FBI. I first met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. 
I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training, and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. But what was the rest? Wait, I wasn't done with that. Internal m memorandum to Hector Monday from Assistant Director Chester Bell regarding the Chicago killer. Our assistance is required in Chicago. They have a potential serial killer, two victims so, f so far and more anticipated. Following your success on the Sherman case, I need you to fly out there tomorrow to investigate. I know you spent some time there recently to help with profiling training so profile training so the local detectives should be welcoming you they'll fully brief you when you land at o'hare sherman so sherman case was the arkansas one maybe arkansas sherman um Chicago, which is in Illinois, 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 Illinois. What's this? Oh. Cobalt? Illinois. Thank you, Salsa. Alright, Salsa. I blame. If anybody dies, I'm- I'm blaming Charlie. Can't see a thing. Oof. Lovely. What am I looking at? A glove? I think it's a bloody glove. Is there somebody in here who's slowly bleeding to death? Or what? Can we go home, Charlie? Jamie. Stay, step back. Stay. <gasps> he stepped back anyways. 
I feel so cheated. Oh my god. Shit, give me your hand. Come on. Damn it. Oh. Well, that was a quick. Okay. What's happening? What did I do? We need to get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. Charlie be like, oh man, but that would be great for the documentary. <laughs> did, did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? Are you shitting me? Yeah, we're trapped. Not happening. Jesus. Wouldn't be that easy. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. <sighs> You hear that? Yes. What is happening? No escape, huh? Fuck. <sighs> Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. Makes me feel better. It makes me feel better. Something you never seem to be able to do. Oh. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job. Not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn. Fine arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Um, why didn't you go for it? Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. I, I guess I didn't even think of that. I'll be nice because I was mean before. <laughs> it's all balanced out now. I, I just... Uh, what do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Kiss and make up. You should have said this before. You should have said all this before. I know. Better say all your thoughts now. One of you gonna I'm die not at least. I'm it all again. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely and you know it. Sorry. I guess I'm a little confused. We better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, go get Aaron. She's scared out of her mind. Charles seems hell bent on talking to him, so maybe, yeah. Poor Aaron. She's so precious. I love her. All right, which way? Who's Nothing going around here? locking these doors? Dumet is a little helper in the yellow coat. Yellow coat man is dead, or at least somebody who was uh, 
in a yellow coat uh, if there was somebody in there you know you never know with these games things aren't always what they seem usually they're not that's that's pretty much the whole point right wait what's that is this yeah, somebody's this idea of a fucking glass. joke how is this here did you bring this no is that her yeah Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? He kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. He would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know, that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when, it, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. That is fucked what up. What the hell is that? I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now! Charlie! Oh. No one's fitting through there now. Well, maybe she, she's pretty skinny. I can't hold this. It's... You have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Uh, oh. Jamie! Charlie! Charlie, a little too late. What the late hell just happened? For your change of heart. I don't know. But I think it's really bad. Really bad. Really, really bad. Uh, it isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be the way, right? Yeah, maintenance corridors. Crawl space has to be. Look for the others. Oh, okay. I'm this girl now. Thank God for the flashlight. Better than that damn lighter. <laughs> she doesn't do shit. Put that away, Charlie. You're not helping anything. You're gonna burn this place down. Uh. What's going on? To Matt, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. I don't think Dumet's the one behind all this. Let's think about this. You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? Well, that that could be. That could be something. Let's take a look at our... Oh, man. <laughs> Her relationship with Kate is just... Worse than worse. Oh, here. No, oh, that's not new. This one. Dumet didn't turn up for dinner. Jamie and Charlie realized that the man they met wasn't the real Dumet. Oh. That contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Well, no Which shit. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really Dumet. So maybe it is Dumet, but Dumet is not the person that we thought he has been this whole time. Motherfucker. What? Brick wall. 
Keep going. Man. Just like Holmes. I know. I don't want to think about it. Okay. We're cool, calm, and collected. All these damn why are there so many hallways in this damn place? Like it's just hallways after hallways after hallways. So many fucking hallways. Hallways and dead ends. And then more dead ends. Here's fucking Charlie being all his Charlie self. Motherfucker. <laughs> Trying to map this in my head. But I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show? That's what these sociopaths do. Let's see what's over here before we go to those lit up stairs. If possible. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're back to the brick wall. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You hear creepy kid voice too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? I want to call them Orbeez for some reason. We got another Orbee. Charlie, come here. Let's get this open. Maybe it was just pig's blood that we saw earlier. Maybe. <laughs> We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? I know those things. Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room... How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. And then how the do island. we get off the island? Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. Swim. This room first. You're right, of course. Natalie Morello. Oh, are you... Body. You think? Meet the last party that visited this hotel. You don't know that. Maybe it's... Fuck. You're probably right. <laughs> oh, Charlie. <laughs> oh, Charlie. What have you gotten us all into, Charlie? Charlie, I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, <gasps> ah. Oh, at least there weren't spikes underneath. That would be bad. Charlie? Fuck. Well, now these two are separated. I know somebody was in there. I... I... I can't... I can't breathe. 
She recorded it? There was somebody in there. They gotta hear this. Wait. She is locked in again. Guys? Hello? Hey! Charlie? Mark? Jamie? <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> this one's... This one's creepy. Oh, come on, come on. Stop being such a damn wimp. Is that a flashlight? I think this is a a perf like perfectly acceptable time to be a wimp. I don't want to overuse this. Erin used her inhaler to calm herself. Maybe I shouldn't overuse it. She probably has limited um, amount of uses. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, we have a flashlight. Treatment for what? Genuine snake oil ointment made from the finest King Cobra. Silver Ash Institute. Just like in the opening sequence of the game. Somehow this guy's got his hands on so many of the uh, memorabilia. That's great. Are those m mannequins or... These don't look like mannequins. Oh, what the hell? It's gonna move. Is it gonna move? Jump scared. Do we touch? Do we poke? <laughs> oh, what is this crap? <laughs> Jesus! What? Oh, it seems like... Well, it's motorized in some way. Oh, boy. not no 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 that is not charlie 
Charlie did not say that. That's fabricated. There's no way. Why? What reason? Aaron found evidence that Charlie was complicit in the murders while searching the silver ash. No, nah, I, really? I don't know, man. I don't know. What reason would he want to have them dead? I don't understand. He wants to be part of a H.H. Holmes thingy, Bumbobber? What is this? Laurel, who's? Well, fuck you, Jamie. <laughs> who's a cute cutie in that pic you posted? Totally your type. You're so predictable. Who, Aaron? Please. My type is a badass bitch, not timid woodland creature. She's shy? She's clueless. Her face always looks lost and confused. None of these people said any of this stuff. Don't believe it, Aaron. They're just trying to get in your head. Now what? Banish the demon drink with Dr. Holmes' miracle cure. For too long, a pre uh, predilection for alcohol has been stigmatized purely in terms of weakness of character and absence of moral fiber. Yet startling breakthroughs by renowned physici physicians, physicists, physicians have demonstrated that alcoholism is an ailment same as syphilis and cholera and can only be successfully treated as such. But although alcohol aversion remedies are becoming available, the greed of their manufacturers has put the majority beyond the purse of the common man, particularly when the common man has already been driven to the brink of ruin by his unfortunate affliction. Such dire public need has now been answered by the esteemed Chicago practitioner, Dr. Henry Holmes, who, at his personal expense, had established the Silver Ash Institute, bringing affordable therapies to the drunken masses. Already, the good doctor is achieving remarkable results with those who pass through the door of his clinic. At the Silver Ash Institute, there is no recourse to prayer, something, plea with the Almighty. The only law is submission to Dr. Holmes and his miracle cure, a patented yet highly affordable compound of secret ingredients including pure silver drawn from the mines of North Dakota. When ingested thrice daily for a program of four weeks, this cure is sen something to exercise the patient of his prior iniquitous, iniquitous appetites. Indeed, following one month's treatment at the Silver Ash Institute under the strict instructions of Dr. Holmes, there will be little of your bad old self remaining by the time you depart. Silver Ash Institute. Aaron, hello? Jamie. Jamie? It's a trick. Aaron? You there? Uh hello? Can you hear me? What is happening? What? You're not safe, Baron. How are- You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. What's going on? Jamie, what is going on? Where are you? I don't- Just listen. Listen. There's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now. Just trust me, okay? Hide or run? I'm gonna run. I don't think that's Jamie. Oh god. No, no, please don't. How would she know? Oh, what? Are you kidding me?
No! I'm so mad. She was my favorite. Does that mean Charlie's voice was real too? I thought all of this was lies. I thought he had a way to replicate voices. Just one decision? That doesn't seem fair. I don't want to play this game anymore. This sucks. Like, give me an option to fight back or something. Like, give me some quick time events to fail or so, you know? Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Where the hell are they? Hopefully somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Kate, check this out. What is going on? <clears throat> are, are we lost in here? So mad. Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. What's the plan, Charlie? You end up dead. Would you like to toast? All of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. What the fuck is this? Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. I... I'm so... Everybody's gonna die. You guys had to redo the gamble? Why? What happened with the old one? There's a 24-hour time limit? Wow, I didn't know that. I guess we didn't know that. Well, now we all know. Um... I'm so mad! I'm so mad! I was like, if everybody else dies, I just want Aaron to live, and then she just dies because of that. So, I was thinking that the audio and the texts were all lies and that he was just trying to get in Aaron's head. And so I thought, and first of all, like, I couldn't think of a situation where Jamie would be talking to Aaron like that and telling her to hide. Like, how... How would she know? How could she see what's going on? It's just weird. It's like the game was trying to get Aaron or you as the player to not trust. And if you didn't trust, then you would... If you didn't trust Jamie and Charlie, then you would go against her directions. But it just felt so weird... I don't know. You guys know what I'm saying? Like, so mad. <sighs> what has Charlie gotten us into? This is beyond messed up. I don't know what Charlie's gotten us into, but if I see Dumet, I'm gonna fuck him up. I have no... I, I really don't think Charlie said get everybody killed, but I mean, who the fuck knows at this point? Jesus. It looks just like him. No way somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours.
This shit's fucked up. What the hell is going on? You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. Watch out. Oh shit. Someone's gonna die right now. Yeah, I had a feeling it might be one of our friends. Thank God. I'm so glad to see you guys. We have to get the hell out of here. What happened? What happened when the wall closed? Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. Demet? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side... Are you of fucking life, kidding me? Bodies... Dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies. it up! That? This it's fake. A prop or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. Don't touch it. Don't uh Oh! Oh, it's real. It's fucking real. I told you this was all too much. Let's get out of here. Why would you touch it like that? Oh, it's locked. What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. Do <coughs> men. You want to play around? Get out here right now. Let's fucking play. All right, let's take our first break. Oh, my God. You have no idea how pissed off I am. I'm so mad. I'm so well, it's I mean, I, I look calm probably because I just I don't I just I'm so mad I don't want to play anymore. I'm just like going through the motions. I need to get back my head back into it, but I feel so cheated. Okay, let's go. Maybe you should just stay in here, Charlie. Jamie! Hello! Jamie! I'm okay! What am I looking at? Can I get up there? What's this? Oh, a key? Oh, shit! Oh, hot?
Page key. Okay, Charlie, let's get you out of here. is that Chicago killer victim one cause of death abdominal injuries victims ear was removed by severely sharp object possibly scalpel John Doe number two I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. Looking at the lower abdomen, the wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this is the same murder weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. Ugh. That would have created a lot of noise in this. Ugh. This guy is learning. Oh. Blech. Logbook. Central contractors. Most of the this is 2017. Most of the crew have arrived at the island, moved all the equipment up to the hotel, met with hotel proprietor Mr. Belknap. On-site assessment has begun. Excavation has begun in the hotel base ba uh, basement. Work on the first and second floor is going as expected. Some equipment has gone missing. Filed a report and requested replacements via Mr. Belknap per our contract. James Kelly has left the project. Left a note citing an emergency. Didn't contact me directly. Written report to follow. First set of moving walls have been implemented. Acquired a copy of the blueprints for Mr. Belknap. Started working on basement ceiling support. Bobby has left me high and dry here. Second loyal guy to leave me this project. Bar renovation began. Basement plumbing has been completed. Second floor renovations to be completed next, next week. Bar renovation completed. Project efficiency is good. If this continues, we'll meet the agreed de uh, date. Reconstructed. All moving walls completed. Signal receivers installed. More reports of missing equipment. Third replacement request filed this month. Project completed at a great date. Proprietor is requesting additional work on the spa area beneath the hotel. Only a small skeleton crew are still on the island, so we will conduct initial cost assessments while waiting to hear back from Kelly. Received correspondence from Kelly. Skeleton crew remaining. Laura, Monica, Ryan, Frank, and I will move forward with work on the spa until the crew crew returns. Ryan has left me a note saying his mom isn't well. I'm sure she died years ago. We'll see if Mr. Belknap, Belknap will allow me to contact him. Laura finished installing the tannoy system with Mr. Belknap. He said she wasn't feeling well afterwards, so he offered her one of the rooms to sleep it off. Haven't received any correspondence from Kelly about where the rest of the crew are. What is going on? Laura hasn't come out of her room, and Monica ju has just left. I can't contact Kelly. Tomorrow I will return to the mainland with Frank and Laura. This job is ridiculous. What did we learn here that was important? What? 
Oh, great. What the hell was that? Thinking you don't want to know. Okay. Um, so let's look at some clues that we got. An FBI memo. In April 1998, Hector Monday was assigned to the case of a potential serial killer in Chicago. So the Chicago... I don't, I don't know if any of this is important. Okay. An estimate for building work at the hotel. The hotel interior has been completely modified. The remains of a girl called Natalie. Her body has been frozen. That's great. Crime scene photos of murder victims. One victim had their teeth removed. The other had their ear removed. A receipt for a hat worn by H.H. Holmes. Dumet spent a lot of money acquiring authentic items for the hotel. A logbook belonging to the foreman of a construction team. They grew increasingly concerned about the amount of employees leaving the island. An amendment to a will. A couple who lived in the lighthouse changed their will so that their entire estate should be left to Richard Belknap in the event of their deaths. A tape from an FBI interview between Special Agent Monday and Manny Sherman. Sherman talks about the methods he used to kill his victims. Okay. We looked at those. Examine. Someone really loves their opera music, huh? is all this people There's only one way to go. It's this little doll. You fell down the trap too, eh? Well, if I get out, I'll send someone back for you. Okay. Oh, I think we missed one here. Let's look in the peephole again. be for something if I wait long enough will someone show up <sighs> I don't know I don't know Thank <laughs> you. 
climb. Climb. Hmm. Doesn't open. How can I get this open? lighter where's my lighter i'm sorry for talking shit about the lighter i really would like it right now <laughs> oh no i don't have it come on open I guess we gotta go back the way we came. <laughs> I can't see shit. I cannot see shit. Oh, hold on. Hello? Welcome home. happened to our friend what is all this what is all this Did he get his cigarettes? Well, hello, gorgeous. Praise the Lord. It's real. This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. Don't light it. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> we do not need that cigarette. up there. Gas. 
Do not light the cigarette. Hey! Hey, hello! I'm here! He just gonna die too, like <sighs> lift great for store. I don't fucking know. Ugh. If I pick the wrong one, he's gonna die! This is gonna be the shortest playthrough of my life. Like... I... I don't... What is going on? None of the other games felt like this. It's just a guess. Like, there's no... Were there clues somewhere that I missed? I couldn't... I didn't get that drawer open. I probably should have tried harder to get that drawer open, but I couldn't find any tools or anything. I don't think we're going to get that door open. I'm sorry, Charlie. You're this prob you're probably dead. You're probably dead. A tunnel. Things are starting to heat up for our friend. You know what? I don't want to talk to you. Maybe cooked. And that's one in the eye for Erin, eh? Sorry. Is that too soon? Yes! Mark and Kate clearly want to be truthful with each other, but it turns out that Kate has been hiding something from Mark. Maybe even trying to hide it from herself. Does that matter how right do now? How feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics? I fucking I hate them. Rather clever. Whose side Some are you on? Very realistic. I wonder where he sources the parts. It would only be fair at this stage to offer up a little hint to even the odds. What do you think? This is it really gonna matter? Never helps. Let's take some inspiration from the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Apparently, our friend Herman Mudgett was so enamored with Sherlock Holmes that he borrowed his surname. Hmm. Here. <clears throat> he has a brain of the first order. He sits motionless like a spider in the center of its web. But that web has a thousand radiations and he knows well every quiver of each of them. 
I hope that helps. Yeah, thanks. Everything's clear to me now. Thanks, that helps. You'd better get back to things. Best of luck. 